Am I like good? I feel like I'm not good. My reputation. What's up guys? It's been way too long. Well, hey everyone, my name is Gabby, the real Gab on YouTube, Instagram, and Snapchat. I believe actually I don't know. This is like honestly if you could see my setup, it's really like girl, what you doing? Buy yourself a tripod. I'm back because I really miss doing YouTube videos and I said I would and I want to so bad. I said that I was gonna come back on YouTube and honestly I've been here the whole time. I just didn't have space on my phone, had all these things to do. Honestly, even now I'm like really busy, but you know what? I was like the fuck this is the summer. It's the summer, no school. Like I purposely did not put myself in classes this summer because I wanted to focus on YouTube and I wanted to focus on my makeup and I wanted to focus on programs and I wanted to focus on running and I wanted to change my lifestyle blah, 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 and all this like so much. I've been wanting to do a recreating series for a really, really long time. A series where I can recreate looks from really talented, like super talented makeup artists and I have so many ideas in my brain right now and this is one of the funnest things I could ever do because this is like, I don't know, I just love like being inspired by everyone else as well, just all of us. So, today's my first recreation look. My best friend sent me this picture. She was like, yo, uh, do this look. So I was like, okay, on my way. So, here it motherfucking goes. For this makeup look, I'm actually, I don't know how she did her makeup, but I, since it's a colorful look, I want to start off with my eyes i don't know whatever let's put on primer smashbox photo finish foundation primer this is the bomb i'm so happy i discovered this it's like so lightweight and it doesn't kick up at all this is my favorite pore filling and you know mattifying primer even if i do like a dewy skin look i always use like even the tiniest amounts of this on my skin also my nails are really ratchet it's because they're really ratchet right now and they're just it's not okay. Oh yeah, I cut my hair. It's short now. Why are you looking at me like that? My brother acts like he doesn't pretend to be. Ah! I have a few videos with him. I don't know if you guys want to see me recreating to my really old videos. Maybe to you it looks like I just started, but I really actually started like what? Sixth grade for YouTube. I just privated all of those videos because it's not. They're just not cute, but I have one with him. And I meant to say react to the videos, not recreate them. Whoops. Anyways, moving on to my eyeshadow base. Essence. Oh, I should have done my brows first. Ah! For my brows, I'm going to be using the Perfusion Eyebrow Palette. I actually really like this a lot. By the way, I do my own brows. That's why I want to do an eyebrow video because I do them by myself. And I really haven't done them in like what? Like a long, like months. But this is when my brows aren't done. I fill them in with like whatever and then I carve them out. It just saves so much time in the morning, you know? So when I carve them out, I use the foundation that I'm about to use. So let me show you the foundation that I'm about to use. So I'm going to use the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation for my whole face. And honestly, don't judge like my makeup skills off of my brows at the moment when my brows are not done because um, it's a whole mess right now. Don't even, don't even, don't even look at my brows. Skip this, skip ahead. I love like being beat to the gods, but feeling like there's nothing on my skin, you know? Anyways, moving on. I never, ever, ever set my concealer. Never, ever, ever. Like only when I'm like oily and sweaty. I never got used to setting my concealer anyway. I'm gonna take the to Brazil palette or whatever. I bought this a while ago and I still haven't taken the little thing out. Should I do it now? <gasps> ASMR. Magic. You just 
just saw my setup. <laughs> that I'm gonna use the orange shade in this. Dip, 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 dip. I'm using music choice as music source at the moment. Low key, I dipped in the red and I didn't even notice. How many of y'all saw my first video, like my first makeup video? Actually, my first makeup video was in sixth grade. But like the first cut crease edited and everything video. How many of you? Give it a thumbs up if you know. If you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't seen it, then go watch it. It's um a little cringy, but I'm very proud of that so. My best friend sent me this, like her picture. Hopefully I do find her name. I don't know. So I did find her ad, it's Blonde Taki, thanks to somebody who commented on my Instagram post of the looks I posted from this video. And I'm so thankful that I found it because honestly I would have felt so guilty. It sucks when people are inspired by someone else or they literally take their look and don't credit them. I think that's so low and so like disgusting, not even as an artist but as a person. So that's why I really like this series. It's not like I have a huge platform or anything near that, but you know, if it's someone else's work or art or creation, you should give them credit. So here it is, her at is at Blonde Taki. But I know for a fact she used for the stars, she used the uh, milk star eyeliner thing. I know it, I know it, I just know. So here I'm basically putting on the same orange shadow but with my fingers so there's more pigment because in the picture it's a lot more neon than what it's looking like right now so that's why I'm using my fingers. Honestly I'm so obsessed with orange, it's one of my favorite colors. Now I'm going to take this one, although the look is basically one color I still want to have dimension in there so um, gotta, gotta dab a little you know. To continue the look I look like a power ranger you know what i got that one time at my school but it's okay it's fine so i took the uh, precision smudger by crown brush like i said i want to do some dimension and i put it in my lower lash line i already applied so this is me like pretending to I i'm gonna leave the eyes off there for a second and i'm gonna come back once i finish doing my face and yes i do use rose water but I ran out. I need to go back. Ulta, please hook me up. The Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Hydrating Foundation. And I used to not like the consistency of this. My skin is combination but more dry in the winter. And then now it's like pure oil. Not really. I'm exaggerating. It's more oily now in the summer. You know what? I'm going to tie my hair. Fuck that. They're so curly. I love it. But it's annoying sometimes. Okay, so look at my little tiny ponytail. Look at how yummy this looks. So from here, I'm gonna focus on my concealer. Okay, this is the concealer that I always use, whether I use it on its own or I mix it with something. So today I'm gonna mix, and I'm gonna use, this is gonna be the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey for my highlight. I went to Spain and I kind of really 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 got tan this used to be like a shade darker than me but now it's a shade lighter than me so and then i'm gonna go with the NARS. actually i'm not gonna mix today i'm gonna let it set and soak in never mind i'm gonna mix it i'm gonna use the nars radiant creamy concealer yo spain is so beautiful if you guys ever get the chance to go, go. That was the first time I've ever been out of Europe. Out of Europe. The first time I ever went to Europe and it was the most beautiful thing, the most beautiful architecture, the most beautiful music, yummy, yummy food. The people are so incredibly nice unless like you speak to them in a rude manner which that happened in the train. And everything is so different and more advanced and it's not like rush anymore sometimes. But, and oh my god, there was a magic fountain. It was insane. Insane. They played Hey There Delilah. They played freaking the Black Eyed Peas. Oh, really, it's really, really the best. <gasps> the Cute As Fuck palette from ColourPop has orange and I forgot. Let's use it anyway. You know what I'm obsessed with right now? I am obsessed 
with face charts. Oh my gosh! I will be recreating one of my favorite like face charts creator people. I'll create one of her looks ASAP. Like that's one of my biggest to-do list checks off thing because they're so iconic. So just know that video is coming soon. Okay, don't take soon too literally, but it's gonna be. I'm gonna be making that video sometime in the future. All right. Semi concealer. I'm gonna use the Fit Me today. I have like five different powders, but today it's looking like I'm gonna use this one. I don't want it to be too matte, so I'm gonna set it lightly. This is like the iconic Morphe E4 brush. I love this brush for. I tried it for blush. I tried it for contour, and I love them all for that. But placing the powder right under my eyes is my favorite use of this brush. It's so lightweight and everything. Ugh, I love it. Set. Set to the, you say it. What am I gonna do after this? Contour! As you can see, I am using the ColourPop brushes. I love ColourPop, ColourPop, onto me. The Aid Cosmetics Contour Palette. Looking like a Power Ranger. And I got this brush set for my birthday. This brush set from ColourPop changed my life. Listen, um, the quality kind of went down because I'm using the front camera of my phone, but my phone is charging, so this is how I'm going to do the nose part of my makeup. Using the ColourPop because I didn't use it on my eye. Well, I did, but you know, it didn't count, so. Never done this! Why do I feel like this is wrong? It's because she got a pointy nose and I don't got a pointy nose, so it's okay, it's gonna look different. The highlighter I'm gonna be using is a Master Holographic highlighter by Maybelline, you already know. It's so beautiful and honestly this is the only highlighter that I have with me right now. Since my friend only sent me a screenshot, um, I don't know the price she used, so I'm using the ones that I have. <laughs> I just hit pen. That's how you. That's how you know. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the eyeliner, which actually really worries me. Like eyeliner makes or breaks your whole look. Hopefully it won't break my look today. I'm gonna try to do the eyeliner off camera and charge my phone. But I'll let you guys know how it went. Um, see you in like a millisecond, literally. But I went through a little hardship right now. When I started doing the eyeliner, I totally did this one more like angled and I totally did this one more circled. So I made it thicker and thicker. It's more graphic -y than like thin. So also change of lighting because the sun went down. I don't have the Milk Makeup Star eyeliner stamper thing so i got what i had in my opinion ever since i started makeup it does not matter the products that you use it matters how you use them it doesn't matter if it's chanel like you could get the same thing for men and noisy see bronzer even though chanel is chanel and noisy is name no see it matters how you use it you know i went off track but the eyeliners that i used oh my gosh i have been trying to debut this for so long and i did on my instagram but I really wanted to make focus and make a video on them. The Ico liquid liners. I am so thankful. I never thought I would ever win a giveaway, but I won this giveaway by Dalzell. A literally extraordinary makeup artist. And oh, I love her, right? So she partnered up with Ico and they did a giveaway. And I went for it and I was like, you know what? Like, F it, like whatever. And I got it! So they sent me these. They sent me five liners. The sporty one, a thick eyeliner it's right there and then one that's like even thinner even thinner than this so from there i'm gonna go on to lips i'm also i'm all show i'm all Sister. so and i'm going to use false lashes these are the kiss 11 these are so rare to find the only time i ever find them is when i go to kmart so i'm gonna put on my lashes and then do my lips at the end be right back okay so um kind of can't see because i don't have my glasses <gasps> Looking cute! Um, for the bottom mascara, I'm gonna use the MAC Bad Girl Lash Mascara. And funny story, this was $26. You know how much makeup I could have bought with $26? Ever since I was in fifth or sixth grade, I've always wanted a MAC mascara. I don't know why, but it just like. Like the thought of a MAC mascara. Like, I thought if I had a MAC mascara, like, that's it. Like, you already be. You know, like, we're there. 
And honestly, this is my home. When I went to the city with my friend, we walked into Mac, you know, minding our own business. I tried them and I was like, there's no way I'm walking out without a mascara. Like, and I had money. Our lunch was free because we needed a credit card. We didn't have a credit card and they made our food already. So they were like, yeah, you can have it free, whatever. Super sweet. I had leftover money that I was supposed to use to eat, but it was free. So I was like, you know what? Let me buy mascara. So I bought this mascara and it's... It's been the love of my life ever since. Now I'm going to do my... Lips and gloss and we done. So I'm gonna use the Milani Easy Liner for lips. Most natural lip liner. And I'm gonna actually do my whole entire lips with this. Because it's a nude and, you know, contrast. So literally right after filming this clip, I remembered that I had Pro Lip Palette from NYX. And it's called The Reds. And I used the orange one. The most orange shade in there. And put it on my lips so really this step doesn't do anything if you know this about me then you're a real super super real G this is from the very beginning oh my gosh one of my favorite lip glosses ever but my favorite color is um, Berlin and this is cream bullet so I'm gonna do it over my lips in the center and then go over with the clear gloss you probably like that kind of defeats the purpose and maybe it does but I feel good about it, so it's whatever. <gasps> Whoa! I just saw myself! <laughs> oh, wow! I'm crying. This was so much fun. This is the final look. Obviously, you guys know this was supposed to be the final look because this is not my original look. This is a recreation. So, thank you to... I don't know your name yet, but I'm going to search you up and give you credits because that was a cute look. This is a cute look. These lashes. Oh, my God. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm so happy to be back. I will be even more consistent, and I'm just so glad I finally... Because when I came back from Spain, I was like, yes. In Spain, I couldn't really do my makeup every day because, you know, I was out with family, enjoying some time. And I was like, you know what, let me chill. So all I did for makeup was clear lip gloss, um, eyebrows, eyebrow gel. Ooh, talking about eyebrow gel. Bye, guys, and hope you watch every video. And Gabby, we're going to make a new video for me teaching Gabby how to... Um, play Roblox and many other things. So stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe to and leave a like and see you on the next video. You know what? That's gonna be my outro. Bye, guys. Follow me on Instagram. Gabrielle X Makeup and The Real Gab NY. Thank you. See you guys in the next video. Uh.